action. Okay, just quick update. We are looking for grasshoppers because if we find some grasshoppers, then I will eat them. I'll cook them, of course, otherwise you can get like disease or worms or something. But yeah, I'm going to eat grasshoppers if we find some. Welcome to Ted's Outdoors Hoodcraft Survival. Today I'll be talking about this plant right here. This is what is called red huckleberry. I don't know if this is the same as, I mean, there's many different species of huckleberry. This is just one, this is red huckleberry. And this is entirely edible. I've been eating this stuff for as long as I've lived here. So I've been eating this for, you know, quite a while now. Many, many years. It's called red huckleberry. So there's many different species of huckleberry. This is just one of them. I know that this is the same uh, family as, I think, Salau, Oregon Grape, and Blueberry. I think it's the same genus family, which is Ericaceae, is how I pronounce that. I'll put everything on the screen for you. So there's about five there. It's a very good plant, I think. So I'm just going to eat these. All these wild edibles that we have around here is good survival food, and this is very abundant. Quite sour, but not a big deal. And just a good survival food to have. Good for you, everything. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. There will be more plant identification videos in the future. I just wanted to do a quick video for you guys so you can see this plant up close on video instead of just pictures. Or, you know, it's always best to have somebody tell you who's an expert on the stuff when you're doing it in person. But video is the next best thing if you don't have that. So here's some video. Always make sure that you don't go out and just eat things that you think you know is the right plant. Be very careful about that. And we'll talk to you guys next time. See ya.